Hello and welcome to the EOS Genesis Lost Key Recovery Process. This is Rohan here from EOS RSV and uh, I'd like to get you access to our Genesis Lost Key account and I'd like to show you the process and the steps in detail. Before I get started, we've been working on this since December. It's been about five months of work. To get it to you we've been joined by amazing block producers we have eos DAC, liberty block that's eos nation uh, the RSV, that's us and finally eos nation all these four block producers got together to bring this lost key recovery system to you after several months of work and we're really excited to get you access to your account let me show you how it's done so you would go to this page. This is the EOS authorities wallet. It does amazing things, but for you to get started, you would go straight into your recovery process. Um, if you take, if you go to the direct link, eosauthority.com slash lost key, you will be directed directly here. Uh, if you have difficulties finding it, go to our wallet click on the create account option and then you'll get the recovery recover account option displayed there so this is how it looks the entire uh, form is actually very simple the whole wallet system we've made it as simple as possible but first steps are you eligible to use this whole process if you say yes to all of this then you're eligible to use this process. Let me highlight them one by one and go through them quickly. First, you have held EOS as ERC20 tokens on Ethereum. This is for accounts that have purchased it during the ICO phase. If that's true, good. Next thing, do you have an account on the actual EOS mainnet at the moment? And this again has to be true. Move on to the next one. You do not have an EOS private key. This could be because you're on fallback mechanism. This could be because you've lost your key. This could be because of various reasons. You have an incorrect key and so on. If you do not have an EOS private key, you can use this option. Or if you've lost your key or if your key is not working or any of those different reasons. This is a very important criteria. You should never have used your EOS account on the actual EOS network. If you have used your account or if you use your account during any point during this recovery process, your automated recovery will fail. So that's a very important crucial point. Next, you'll have to wait for 30 days before your account can be reset. And finally, the most important we verify that you have access to your account and your actual ethereum address by getting you to sign an ethereum signed message so we will need you to use your ethereum private key and send in a signed message you can do this in several ways but please note we will never ask you for your ethereum private keys we will just simply ask you to sign a message and send it through and all that within an automated form here. So to sum up, this is the entire recovery process. You as a user would enter your account and provide a new EOS key to us. And that will be sent to us as a signed message, which I'll show you shortly. Second step, you will have to wait for 30 days for your keys to be reset. This is a waiting period during which we will inform. We, we do a few checks, we do a few messaging on chain and all of that. And the final step is your keys are reset and then you're able to like load it up, use our wallet um, and get access to your account and get started with EOS again. So. I've covered the steps. If you have any further questions, please scroll down and then go through all of this. 
you'll also be able to click on the video icon there to get hold of the video and see the steps so let's start by resetting your account there are a few options here we've made it very simple you can enter your eos account name or simply enter the ethereum address that you purchased your eos tokens on this is your genesis tokens so let me let me go online and then let me get an ethereum address and an eos account name this is what an eos account name looks like it has to be a 12 character name and it often starts with a G or an H and so on. You can enter this or you will have to enter an Ethereum address. Let me get you an example. So this is what an Ethereum address looks like. It starts with a 0x and it's about this these many characters long. If you were to enter either one of them, our system smart enough, it will detect to see if you're eligible if you see this form here it means that your account is eligible for the loss key process it means that you have never used your account it means that you're on the list of accounts eligible for the process and so on there you go now you have to supply us with just one information that is what is the new eos key that you would like your account to be reset to so this account what do you want the new eos key to be what you will do at this point is you would go into a trusted wallet of your own so you might you might work with quite a few different wallets pick a wallet and as soon as you do you will have to create a key there and send it to us and that is what we will need to complete the entire process now there are a few trusted ways to create keys scatter is a very very popular example let me just show you scatter very quickly so for example if you were to click on scatter go to create a new key and then just click on a key there and there you go that is an example of a key just copy it uh, if you click on reveal here, you get to see the private key. We do not need your private key. The private key starts with a 5. We do not need it. Please hide it. You might want to copy it and keep it somewhere, but we do not need it. All we need is your EOS public key. Click on copy. If you click back there, now the key is saved and it's gone. But I, I would I will delete it shortly after the video anyway. I would uh, the public key is out, but you would keep it safe in your wallet. Now what I'll do is I'll just paste it there and there you go, that's a key. And all I have to do is submit signed message. What will happen now is I have MetaMask installed on my machine, and this is what I can see. I'll be seeing MetaMask saying I've got a signature request. I am, MetaMask would say it asked to sign a message and it would say things like what the message is. So it has, this is what you should verify. Please make sure you see this exactly as you see it here. <clears throat> this number will change so you can ignore that. This message says I've lost my Genesis key and I request a key reset to this key. You'll have to make sure what you see there is what you actually signed. And all you would do is click on the sign message. There is one thing that I'd like to tell you and it's very important. Now here what I'll do is I'll just cancel the step. But for you, you would click on sign. If I click on MetaMask here, this is a very important step. Make sure that the Ethereum address there matches your account to what's shown there. If it doesn't, it means you're signing it with a different key. Please do that. For a demo purpose here, I don't have the keys. So you can see it doesn't match. I don't have, this is a live account on the EOS mainnet, and I don't have it. But for you, in your case, it should match perfectly. So that's it. All you would do is verify that, click on the sign, submit sign message, wait for the pop-up to appear, and click on sign, and you'll be done. And that's it. As soon as you do that, 
we would start a timer and it'll take 30 days. This is what you would see next. The account has completed the first step of the automated Genesis loss key process on this date. And this account is on a 30 day waiting period for the keys to be reset to your keys. And then it'll have a countdown timer here. Wait for 30 days, come back to our page, bookmark the link and so on, and you will be done. Now, that's all you'll have to do. In case you are a new user that don't have MetaMask, let me go back and show you the alternate signing option. So if you're a token holder, you don't have MetaMask, or if it's on Ledger, just click on the button there. It'll give you the message that you've seen previously. All you have to do is copy the entire message in its entirety. If you expand it, you can see the entire message. Make sure you copy the entire thing. There is a URL mentioned in the frequently asked list. Please uh, go there and click on the link. It goes to this particular um, link on my Ether wallet. Here, you would paste your message as it is. You have a variety of options here. Pick Ledger, Trezor, all of these options. Even you can sign with Ethereum private key if you wanted to. Uh, and if you trust my Ether wallet, go ahead. So here again, the same process. You would pick a Ledger wallet or however you want to sign it. You would connect to your Ledger wallet, complete the process. Uh, I want to show you how the process looks like. So I'll quickly sign a message. And again, I just set up the MetaMask here. So I'll just see the message. I can see the entire sign message. What I would do is copy the signature completely as it is. Go back to our page here, paste the sub sign message as it is, and click on the submit sign message. If things go well, again, you'll be directed to a page here, which will say transaction success. And if you come back, you can see this message here. And you're all set. You'll have to wait for 30 days for your keys to be reset. After 30 days, you'll have a small video again explaining what to do next. Uh, essentially, what you'll have to do is if you go back to scatter after 30 days and just click on refresh the button there, it'll scan for an EOS account and find it. Now we can see it's, it's found zero accounts because there is no account matching this. But if you do it out of 30 days, you'll have scatter set up, you will be ready to go. So that's the entire loss key process for you. And you'll have questions and so on. Please read this. We have a details instructions here, both video and step-by-step -step guide. And finally, there's also a link to a telegram group that you can come back to ask questions and so on. So that's it. Thank you for your attention. We can't wait to let you get access to your EOS accounts and all the best. Thank you.